If I'm in the back. Okay. On my own. <laughs> Put it there. I can't, it won't, it won't like reach me. the camera since Your birthday? my birthday in January what? I know I'm trying I'm trying I'm like recording now but like I don't really know what to say yeah can someone be in it with me hey guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel <laughs> I'm skipping um, tape for this yeah Jess is not going to tape for the, for the day to be out with me and Courtney so hey guys what is up? Um, I haven't had a camera in so long, so I feel very camera shy. But today we are going to the city. We're going to the train station right now. Courtney's driving. Um, because yesterday, Courtney spontaneously decided that she wanted to either get a, her nose pierced like both sides or get a tattoo. So we might get both today. But then I was like, okay, well, I want to be spontaneous too. So I'm going to get my face pierced. So wish us luck. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna get my, um, no, I'm getting my rook. Did I say dace? Yeah. I'm getting my rook pierced on my left ear. I wanted to get my dace pierced on my right ear, but I have the keloid on my ear still, so I'm gonna wait till I get that removed, and then I'm gonna go all out with the dace and stuff, with the dace and stuff. But right now I'm just getting my rook on my left ear. Um. That's it, that's, that's the plan. So I will check back in with you guys when we are at the train station. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Did you really map it? <laughs> it's raining. Oh, um, I don't know where to go, you guys. This <laughs> lit. <laughs> It's l oh no, I'm not doing this in the rain. Bye guys, see ya. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these are very grippy considering they're hiking. Oh, so, oh my god. Um, we're just trying to find our way. Okay. We're a little bit lost. Um, it's raining. We're like underneath this, but it's got holes in it. There's no, there's no shelter. Um. Where You're mapsing it. Yeah. But there's Holy. holes in it. <laughs> oh my god. Um we don't know where we're going. I have Okay, walk and talk. Okay, let's go. Does that bring in a smell? I love it. How cute is that? <laughs> I don't know why I was ever excited for summer. <laughs> What's the time? Is it too early to It's go? literally my camera's wet. Oh no. So bad. Okay, we're here, but um, why is your thing red? Mm -hmm. Imagine if it's filming slow mo. <sighs> um, we're here, but we need to book an appointment. And you can't film take in a, the. Take a take a video of the after Yeah, well, but you can't film in the. Can you be confident. Put your phone up. Get good angle. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Can... That's all we're going. Ticket stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is getting one too as well now. Your helix. Yeah, I'm getting my look and she's getting her two nostrils. This is so exciting. I'm literally so nervous. So I went in first. It's all done. Courtney's in there right now. This is what it looks like. I'm next. Didn't even hurt. And she's next. Yeah, literally. Oh. Eye contact. Oh. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. No. No, I think I'm fine. He's like psyching me out. He's like, oh, I going to hurt so much. And I'm like, no, I'll be fine. I handled a tattoo on my wrist. Yeah. I can do it. And then it's like, it's so different. This is like a needle stabbing into your cartilage. And I was it's like, not. okay, Cartilage bro. don't really hurt, I don't think. And okay, we're going to see Courtney when she gets out, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm going to see that. Okay, let me see. Come closer. Come closer. No, you cannot post this. so well. I'm going to show my sky coming. Okay, Courtney's just come out as well. Ew. Oh, it suits you so much. Thanks. I literally can't go over that. Okay, Jess is in now, right now. She got like the least intense one out of all of us. Hey, she's on her phone. I'm being ignored. 
Anywho, we're gonna see what Jess is like when she comes out, so. Do you love it? I, do you, love I didn't know I say like or love it. then. I love it. Yeah. I always put like a hoop in though. Like, oh. is my hair stuck on top? Wait, 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 no, wait, wait. It doesn't look good. I don't think so. Oh, it suits you so much. Both of us, like, both of you guys like suit piercings. Like the piercings that we got, you know? Yeah. Okay, cute. Are we going for lunch now? Well, yeah. you're getting lunch, aren't you? Me and Jess aren't. We have no money now. So we just sell all that. So <laughs> okay, let's love that for us. Go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What's it called? What's that word? Um, sketch. Sketch. Place. So. <laughs> oh my god, it's like cars coming down here. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. What? You smell it. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay, okay, we're here. Oh, but girls are not with us. You need to tap on the screen and I look white. Now I look really dark. I like that lighting. <laughs> oh, it's quite dark. Oh, I can't even see you. Is it yum? She said yes. That is my two best friends. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just doesn't care. So I want to post this photo. <laughs> She's not happy. Look. <laughs> She's like side eyeing. Okay, guys, we are just at the park with the dogs. Um, what's the name? Courtney bought Lexi and Jess bought Bella. That's who you can hear in the background. <laughs> She's panting. You out of breath. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna end this vlog here. I think I wanna do like um, a healing process. So I'm probably gonna like film over the few months, weeks, whatever, the process of my healing. So this isn't the end, this is just the end of today. Um, I cleaned it like once today with salt water, um, just on a Q-tip. I like went around and then I sprayed it. So this is day one, so. Let's roll on this healing process. Hey guys, it is now day three of me having my rook pierced and I thought I would just touch base with you guys, um, tell you how it's going. I'm not really sure how much of the video is like salvageable because I was super excited to get my spontaneous piercing and the girls were just not helping and I forgot to vlog a lot of it. So I thought I would just explain to you guys what happened, my experience, the pain, and all that jazz. So we got into Off Your Tree and they were like super chill there. Um, they always are, no matter like when I go, they, they just have the best workers there, they're super chill and nice. Um, and I went first and I was like, can I get my rook pierced? And they're like, yes of course. And then Courtney obviously got the double nostrils and Jess originally wasn't going to get anything, but then she ended up getting her helix pierced. Um, and we just like filled out all the forms. Um, I had to ask for titanium jewellery because my skin is super sensitive and hypoallergenic and it goes green and really disgusting if I put any other like metals in my ear unless it's titanium or gold. So that's what I asked for and they only had the larger size of the bar in the titanium or the smaller size in the steel and obviously I said like I can't have steel in my ear so I went with a larger bar and the guy that was like behind the counter he asked he was like have you ever had your rook before and i was like nope and he was like oh how good are you with pain and i was like uh -huh, pretty good but it freaked me out a little bit because i had hadn't really like looked up other people's videos of like their pain experience normally when i'm going to get a piercing i try and look at as many videos as i can like with people's experiences so that i can kind of prep myself for the pain but because i literally just decided that morning i had no idea what it was going to feel like and when he said that it hurt i was freaking out a little bit but i wasn't gonna let it show um so we filled out all the forms and literally just went down the hallway and as soon as we went there the piercing lady came through and was like oh you getting your rook done and i was like yeah that's me and i was the first in and she was so nice um she just cleaned my ear marked it up and i checked in the mirror and i was like yep that's cool let's put a needle through it and i like laid on the bed and she put a little cap underneath my ear and she went and pierced it from above and i literally just when i'm also when i'm getting a piercing i always like wiggle my toes so i'm like <laughs> focusing on that not the actual piercing so I did that and she was like just take a deep breath in and as I took the deep breath in she pierced it through and honestly the needle going through 
was probably one of the easiest piercings I have got ever. It was probably a 2 out of 10, 10 being the worst. Um, honestly, it just felt like a little bit of pressure, a sting, and then like every piercing when you get it done, it feels a bit hot. That's all it felt like. And then I was like, Tauntra, and I was like, honestly, like getting the jewelry through probably hurts worse than the piercing itself. And she was like, yeah, I understand that because that initial shock's like over and then someone's fiddling around. So you're bound to, it's bound to hurt more. And she was like, I'm really sorry, but I'm about to put the jewelry through. Um, just take a deep breath in. And I did. She popped it through and I didn't feel anything again. And I was like, you're kidding. You didn't pierce that. I didn't feel that. It was honestly, it was such a breeze. I did not believe that guy when he said that the rook hurts because it honestly, it didn't hurt for me at all. Um, it was literally, it was the same as my tragus pretty much. Um, it's that little initial pressure pop, bang, done. It literally, it was so easy. So it was probably one of the easiest piercings I've ever had. Um, it is obviously now day three. I sleep on this side unfortunately and so I was like shit like how am I going to sleep on this side because I don't want to like put any pressure on it um so I've been sleeping on this side which has been quite uncomfortable but I'm soldiering through and if I do ever want to like lay on this side I kind of just like put my arm up and so that my ear is resting through the like, gap in my arm and not touching my pillow um that seems to work but I don't want to like do it too often just in case I roll over and I hit it by accident. Um, I've been cleaning it twice a day um, with salt water solution. Um, I make my own salt water solution. If you guys want to see a video on that, I will make one. Just leave a comment down below if you're interested. Um, so I just popped that on a Q-tip and this is the Rook now. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep, there it is. Oh, she's so cute. There she is. Um, and I literally just got the Q-tip and I clean around it on the top and then I flip the Q-tip over and then I clean the underneath side. And then just to be like doubly safe, I get the spray and I just like to spray around it um, just to like keep it clean and healthy and so that it heals quickly. So that's my update now. It's still a bit tender. Um, I realized when I got it that like, you know, when you smile, um, your ears kind of like move. I know that's, that's kind of weird, but they move when you smile and I smiled and I realized that I could kind of feel it like it was a little bit of a tug so just be mindful of that and also I like tuck my hair behind my ear a lot and I didn't touch the piercing but just moving the ear around here like around the cartilage it does kind of tug on it so that was a little bit uncomfortable nothing painful I'm sure if you whacked your ear it would probably really hurt so I'm really hoping that I don't do that. Um, just basic things like taking off tops, putting on tops, just be mindful of that. And it's pretty much, it's going pretty well so far, but I will keep you updated um, of the um, healing process. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it has been a little over a month since I got my rook pierced and I thought I would just show you how it's going. Um, this is it now. It's pretty healed. I There was no gunk or like, any really like bad fluid or anything coming out of it when it was healing I was gonna take photos of it like to show like the um, progression of it healing but it's actually healed up really well I can sleep on it now I was able to sleep in it about three or four days after I got it pierced it was literally this is like one of the easiest piercings I've ever had to deal with um, I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting it because it's so cute and it just healed up so fast I wish this video was a little bit longer because I wanted to show you guys the healing process but it it's healed it, it has been just um, over a month and it's pretty much healed. I'm still spraying it with salt water and cleaning it with a little cotton bud But that is it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm probably gonna be getting some more piercings soon um, Just because it is definitely an addiction But if you guys want to check out my other piercing videos, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time